Hey, welcome back. Today we'll be discussing a very important topic, which is taking out your braids and probably washing it and blow drying it for another style or just for you to just go out, you know? So stay tuned. So right now you're welcome back. If you're an old um, viewer of my channel and if you're new, you're also welcome. Take a front seat and relax and enjoy the video. So here I'm just cutting off the ends of the braids, making sure that her hair is about two inches shorter than the place i cut i have to leave two inches after the end of her hair just in case it's longer than there you know it gets to come out her hair gets to come out of the braids so i can see where it gets up to and then the place i can see i still leave two inches after that point so that i know i'm not cutting off her hair because it was an issue for her she kept cutting off her hair whenever she tried to take out her hair before she came to me she came to me about mm, close to roughly six months ago because she keeps coming back to me every month to redo not less braids for her i did this and then when she does something like this style she'll come back to me to take it out wash treat blow dry and then do another braid i mean so she was losing a lot of length and um, it was taking her super long the whole day or more to take out the hair i guess you just saw me measure her hair against the next braid that was in her hair to check if i cut off anything and i found out that i didn't that her hair, own hair ended shortly before about two inches before the braid ended so we're still taking it out one of my girls decided to help me and also she used to experience breakage because she was very rough on her hair you know she's not a hairstylist she doesn't know how to handle hair she doesn't know that she should spray the hair before combing it she doesn't know that she should comb every single one she takes out she doesn't know a lot of things and when she was trying to do it whichever way it didn't turn out well she lost a lot of length and now she's saving a lot of length now that i'm helping her after i comb out each one as i take it out i still go back in to comb everything together yes, by the way let me state this here i'm not as rough as you can see me doing in the video nobody will sit down for me to be brushing their hair like this this is really way, way too rough i forwarded the video that's why I'm, i seem like i'm doing it roughly i'm very soft i'm very soft and i help the hair grow so i grow your hair so i can't i can't be saying she was losing length and me i'm saving length for her meanwhile i'm combing the hair with so much power and everything else so i'm pretty much easy and laid back doing hair but the video was forwarded so now we're pretty much done with taking out the braids or detangling combing and now we're now washing so i'm waiting to get the water to be a bit warm so that her scalp will be nice so i'm pouring it on her scalp now and i'm wetting it and actually i don't wash her hair or scrub her hair with my fingernails i do it with the palm of my hand and i try to do it so well that i scrub her head with my palms you can see everything coming out of her hair that's the grease the gel and the hair grease that i must have put in when i was doing it and the one she put in also right now i put um conditioner on her hair and i use the brush to brush it so that there are still no tangles i'm trying to make sure there are no tangles because if i should put the shampoo now and to start washing it the, the tangles will get serious even though i combed it before i started so be careful doing that whenever you're taking out braids that you've carried for a month or six weeks because my client only carries her braids for a month she doesn't even go up to a month before she comes to me so once you're taking out your braids you've carried for a month please put conditioner in first before and co and put it all in soak it in then brush it with a comb ball um, like the brush i used and then and then after you've combed it all out you now put shampoo that's the only time you can put shampoo you should put shampoo foam it all up put shampoo twice and then rinse it each time and then put um conditioner back in her hair or put a treatment put the cap on and put her under the dryer so she can do the treatment when she comes out you just have to rinse and get her ready for a blow dry and here she's ready for the blow dry you have to put heat repellent in her hair first probably bio silk that's the most common one that i use you put bio silk on her whole scalp and then massage it in and um break her hair into a few pieces like the back cut the back out and then blow dry as i go along i'll have to be patting her hair into thin lines so that i can blow dry you see how thin it is the back is a bit bulky actually that's because the back is small and it will be um, a bit too much to pat it smaller than that so i feel like i can take the chunk of the back but as i go upwards i'll be patting them into smaller pieces and by the way her hair is a 3c 
which means the curls are not so tight so it's easier for me to blow dry than if it was fussy not as if i'm complaining or condemning ladies with fussy hair i'm a fussy lady so i can't condemn those ladies those ladies are the highest Ooh. every hair type is beautiful by the way so you see how i'm blow drying it and that it's coming out straight that's how to blow dry pat it into small lines and then you try to blow dry you see the small line i'm patting now and by the way it's because her hair is fussy that's why i can take make it that big i would normally take it way smaller so that it can get everywhere and make sure it's dry and actually when you're blow drying you're actually aiming at making sure the hair gets dry from the scalp to the end because if her hair is not dry when she gets home the kinkiness will come back quickly if she wasn't doing her hair today but for this my client she's going to be braiding her hair today although not in this video and that doesn't mean that i wouldn't blow, her, blow dry her hair to be dry i have to still blow dry it and make it dry or else i'll have issues braiding her hair if it turns out to dry up by itself and not by the blow dry it's going to kink up and that will give me issues so i would rather blow dry her until she's properly dry and this is how i do it i put it on the second setting which is the hotter one and the air is so hot at some point i'll be having issues holding on to the blow dry and then i don't think i looked for the glove in this video but normally i wear a glove because the heat on my hand is way too much and you can see how i'm holding the blow dry i don't think that's the proper way to hold the blow dry but i'm holding it like that because can i call the the comb at the end the nozzle the nozzle might fall out as in i mean the comb at the end of the blow dry so i have to hold on to the blow dry and also hold on to the nozzle so that it doesn't fall off that's how the blow dry is initially when i just bought it it was working fine but as it gets older it now gets loose and i don't blame it there's so much heat coming from this blow dry and here we are almost done we just patted out i think the fourth line and that's the last line i'm just about to bound down now and tie so we'll just be blow drying this line again same way making sure that i hold on to the end and make the actual end straight as i go up towards the root and then as i get to the root i have to slide the blow dry in so that it doesn't poke her because if it pokes her i guess that when i was new in the industry i poked a few clients and their scalp was mm, bleeding and when it's bleeding i have to stop and take care of it and wait a few minutes to allow it to stop bleeding and heal a bit before i continue so that's that so you have to be very careful i think because her scalp is very hot and then the blow dry too is very hot when it touches her scalp it tends to break her skin so you just have to be careful whichever way when you're blow drying the ends you can do whatever you want but as you get to her scalp you have to be very careful and don't shy away from blow drying her scalp because her scalp also needs to be dry because that's the place most of my girls don't focus on and that's the place you have to blow dry properly if you need your braids to look beautiful on her base on her scalp so her hair is coming out nicely and it's all straight now and then the last line will come down it will have to come down and um, we'll be done soon I mentioned this in the video earlier there's this glove that i wear to protect my hands from the heat i had a client tell me one time that my old age would be crazy as in my hands would be shaking if i keep exposing them to the heat so lately i started wearing the glove but i don't think i wore it on this video because i want you guys to see exactly what i'm doing but every other time trust i wear it i wear it now i'm almost done with the blow dry now and you can see me hold on to the middle part that i parted before and blow dry that exact point that point hardly ever dries if you don't do this because you can't start from that point and go right and start from that same point and go left who's now going to dry that point so always i would pack up all the hair in the middle of her head and blow dry it and go through her head to the back to her nape to the nape of her neck and go blow dry and then make sure everything is dry and then now i'm going to all her scalp i'll just rather i'll grease her scalp i'm greasing her scalp and getting her ready for a braid although not in this video i'll show you guys that i don't want to take so much of your time i think it's close to 10 minutes now so let me leave you alone i'll just grease her scalp and end the video so now we've done the whole of the take down take down her braid detangle wash um wash and condition and then also we did the treatment 
and then we did the blow dry this is the blow dry we just finished and now we are doing the oil we all that scalp and we'll put it on a ponytail the way i'll pat the back and then we're done so i hope i taught you a thing or two i dropped a few tips on how to do everything wash treatment blow dry uh, and everything else preparing your hair for another braid so thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe and share your comments in the comment section below do treat your hair nicely next time when you're trying to take it out don't take out your hair when you're trying to take out the braids do have a nice time till we see you again take care